Hey everybody, good morning. It's Jason with JR Custom Designs. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick uh, comparison check between the Boss, the Eon, and the Thunder. Um, what I've done is I've loaded uh, this graphic in. It has a lot of curves and uh, sharp angles for the laser to go around. Now this is going to be a cut. Uh, granted, I'm not going to try to cut through I'm just trying to show you the precision with the speed and the quality um, they're all rated at 400 millimeters a second um, and around 40 to 60 or 40 to 50 percent power depending on the size of the machine that I'm running it on um, but the speeds will still be the same so you'll be able to see a direct comparison between uh, all of them so I've already sent them all to the machine uh, We'll go take a look and uh, I'll show you what, what's going on. We'll start with the boss uh, laser first. Alright, so here we are. We're at the boss laser. Let me get my air, my air going here. Turn it down just a hair. Alright, so you got the boss laser. I got the 3655 that I'm running this on, and uh, go ahead and fire everything up. Same design, running at 440% because it's a 150 watt laser. Uh, I don't want to uh, overdo it. And then what I have here is a piece of cardstock. Just to show um, a quick representation. But without further ado, everything's fired up. Let's go ahead and uh, see what this will do. Keep in mind again, this is it. this is at 400 millimeters a second. The other machines I'll have running the same speed, the same pattern, and we'll do a comparison. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but you hear a thump every once in a while. Um, as some of you guys know, that's the stepper missing a step uh, because of the speed. And adversely, you'll be able to see the end result. And as you can see, there's your end result. So with that being done, we're going to move over to the Nova, which is the Eon Nova 10, and we'll see how that one does. All right, everybody, we're over here at the Nova 10. Um, this is a photo shut type machine that I'm helping work on. I'm um, doing some upgrades too. That we'll sh soon be able to show you guys. Uh, I want to show you we're doing the same design again. 400 millimeters a second at 50% power. We're going to see how this one does with uh, get some air to it here. Uh, we're going to see how this one does with the same file. Go ahead and frame it out here, make sure I'm good to go. Alright, so let's see what this does. Notice you're not hearing any skipping of the steppers or anything like that. Nice clean lines. Again, this is 400 millimeters a second, just like they do on the boss. Definitely tell the difference there, and we'll recap on the on the 
that cuts here in a minute. But next, I'm going to take you over to the uh, Thunder Laser Nova 24 desktop machine, and we'll see how that one does. All right, everybody. Now we're over to the Thunder Laser, and again, I want to show you we're running the same file, 400 millimeters a second, 50% power. We're going to see what this one does and, and how it handles the uh, acceleration deceleration. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll make a, uh, a decision once this is done to see uh, which one turns out better. So, if everybody's ready, I'm going to go ahead and frame this, make sure we're good. Uh, in case you're wondering, on, on the lid, the lid is open. I disarmed the, uh, the door open switches so I could run this uh, with it open. Not advised, um, do it at your own risk, but uh, you can do it. Anyways, here we go. We're going to go ahead and start off. Just to give you an idea, uh, crap, I turned off my, my boss. Uh, this ran at 54 seconds on the Thunder Laser. This is what you get. Now I'm going to take you over to the Nova. We'll check the time on that um, and uh, see how that one performed as far as that. So, 54 seconds on the Thunder. Let's go check out the Nova. All right, back over here at the Nova 10 by Eon. Again, real nice clean lines. I don't see any uh, obvious wavering. There might be just a hint of it around some of the tighter turns, um, but no different than the, than I could see on the Thunder. This one cut at 56 seconds, which is a little bit, a little bit slower than the Thunder. Uh, but you got to understand also that the machine size is nearly twice the size, so that would, that would account for, for that little bit. But being four or two seconds different uh, for the size of the machine, it is. Um, I'd say I'm impressed with that. All right, so let's go over to the boss, and we'll see what it did. Alright, so again, here's what the boss has done. Um, and this is what I've been trying to say about the boss with their speed and everything. Uh, they can't keep up, um, mainly because of the head so big, the gantries and stuff are so heavy. Uh, the steppers just can't keep up. And that's where you hear the, the clicking. Um, is the stepper losing a step? Uh, it could be jumping a belt, but very, very unlikely. Uh, more, more, li more than likely, it's the stepper missing a step. But, it shows on here that it completed it in 39 seconds, which uh, seems kind of odd, but hey, that's what it says. So, so anyways, so uh, between the three of them, again, the boss, so, do that again. I went ahead and labeled them. So the boss, the Eon Nova 10. And the Thunder Laser Nova 24 desktop. So uh, here I'll go ahead and Thunder. All right, so that way it's official. All right, so that is my quick rundown of the three lasers that I have. 
their performance and uh, quality of how they do with uh, doing vector cutting. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. I get a lot of flack because I work with these companies um, and uh, I just want to do this to kind of show you and prove to you that they are in fact what I'm saying they are not because I work with them um, but because they're just they're better machines and for the price point um, you can't really beat it as far as when it comes to the Boss, the Thunder and the Eon uh, the Thunder and Eon are probably about the same price wise uh, which is uh, depending on the model is a couple couple thousand more than the Boss but I mean look at what you get with the Boss I mean it's just pretty it's a it's a it's a laser and then just the clean the clean setup and design completely enclosed boxes uh, whereas boss is wide open once it drops below the bed rails these are solid um, these are solid boxes all the way down except for obviously where the lead screws come through uh, to allow the bed to go up and down And the same on the Thunder. Thunder's the same way. Um, nice, clean, well-built machine. Again, um, the box is not sealed on this one. Uh, however, I, th I believe on the bigger ones they are. Uh, just obviously because this thing's so small. Um, it's got a direct airflow out the back. So it's got the single port and it really sucks the, the fumes out really well. So, uh, at any rate... If anybody has any questions about the, the video or like to leave a comment, please do so. And uh, I'll be glad to answer them if I can. And I hope everybody, again, is having a good Saturday. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. And look for more videos from me in the future. Doing more of the same. With uh, Next, I'll, I'll be doing some raster stuff. This is a little shot shot, shot of my, my junkie shop. Um... And, uh, yeah, so have a good one, and uh, we'll see you next time.